I thought I'd clarify exactly what I mean when I suggest people not start out with flash ambient photography in their real estate photography businesses. HDR is when just starting out, it's a lot quicker to just take a bracket of three photos and call it a day. Whereas when you want to learn how to shoot flash ambient, things get a little bit more tricky. Yes, flash ambient photography does look marginally better when you do it correctly. If you do not do it correctly and you're just nuking a room, basically just meaning the flash is on all the way power, you don't know the correct settings, you haven't done a ton of research, a ton of practice into getting these flash ambient shots, it's not gonna look as good. And then you're gonna be paying a premium when you're working with editors or you're gonna be spending just way too much time behind the computer editing your own photos, which is just a giant waste of time. So when you're just starting out in your real estate photography business and you're wanting to just take photos and get money for it, HDR is gonna be the way to go because you only have to learn how to get good composition, correct camera tripod height, and how to get good verticals, that's it. Whereas flash ambient photography, you have to learn flash settings. You have to learn how to sync it up with the camera. You have to buy an extra flash to do it. You have to either get another stand or get a flash bouncer to do all the, I mean, it's just, it's, it's too much when you're just starting out. And the way that I teach specifically with my students is photography is very important, yes. And the words real estate photography lead you to believe that's where you'll make all the money in your business is with photography. And I don't agree with that. Where you'll make the majority of your money is in your add-ons, things like floor plans, virtual tours, listing videos, aerial photos, aerial video, twilight footage, this and that. It's way more than just photography. So I don't recommend spending a bunch of time learning how to you know, do this flash ambient stuff in your real estate photography business because it's just a waste of time when you know, in any given market, you could probably only charge $150 to $200 for photos. If that's all you're gonna be doing, then you're not gonna be making that much money. You'll make money from doing photography as like the thing to bring in clients so that you can upsell them additional services where you can charge $350 for a listing video, $250 for a virtual tour, an extra $125 for a floor plan, an extra $200 for a listing website with a custom domain name and URL. It's all these things. So flash ambient photography is great. It's a good option. It's a good, you know, if you wanna do it, do it. What I recommend is do the thing that you're quickest at and you're most comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with flash ambient photography and you're comfortable with HDR and you can get an entire 2000 square foot listing done with photography in under 20 minutes, then do HDR. If you're quicker with flash ambient and you like the way it looks, do that. That's all I gotta say about flash ambient.